Welcome to the Smart Tool Training Series. Today we are going to learn how to create a map or get IT training. So let's have a look into the workflow that allows us to create a new training. So here, as you can see, there are three players involved whenever you create a new training. It will be the student, the trainer, and the manager. Everything starts when the trainer logs in into the smart tool and creates a new class. After that, the trainer has to fill in the details of the students. Then the students are notified by email of the training that they have been enrolled to with all the details about the training, where it will take place, who will be the trainer, which topics will be covered, etc., as well as the manager. So the manager is also notified. And all of that should happen before the training. At the very end of the training, in the last day, the trainer should then close the training that will send automatically an email to the student with the link for him to fill in an evaluation form. So the student then should fill the evaluation form and then the trainer will be notified that the trainee uh, already has his certificate ready so he should print and deliver the certificate to the student and after that the trainer is able to archive the training and also have access to the training evaluation report. Also the manager is notified that the training is over. Also it's important to mention that if uh, as a trainer you are delivering the training in centers that uh, doesn't have access to internet, these two tasks of receiving link for evaluation and fill the evaluation form can be done by the trainer afterwards. So he can do it on behalf of the student if internet is not available. So now let's have a look how this can be done in Smart Tool. So the first thing is to go into smart.mei.org and using the username and password boxes fill in your username and your password and sign in into the system. Then you should click on trainings and start a new get IT or map training. And here you have a form that you have to fill for each new training. The first thing to be chosen is in which center this training will take place. So this will take place in St. Petersburg. The start date will be on 24th of May and the end date will be on 31st of May. It will be held in Russian. It's a 15 hours training from the T-Tools curriculum and the topics that are going to be covered are not all of them but just these that I have chosen. And then I save the training. After that, I have to fill in the participants' names. So the first one will be Ilda Melchior. And I'm going to save student and add to training. And then the next one will be Carla Dimitri. So I'm going to save student and add to the training as well. And for this demo, uh, I'm going just to use these two participants and now it's time to notify the students and go to the next step. I'm going to click here and now that I've created this training and notified the students, 
my students will be receiving an email with all the training details. So let's have a look how what this email looks like. So here is the email that uh, Carla Dimitri received with all the details of the training and the dates and the topics that will be covered, etc. etc. So now let's imagine that the training is over. We are at the very last day of the training. So what the trainer should do is to close the training and send the evaluation form. So even if you already logged out and then you log in again, you are able to continue the process from the part that you were uh, before. So if you click on trainings, here you have the pending Get IT training. So this is the Institute Russia St. Petersburg waiting for training closing. So this is the next step. So you can always resume. And we are at the closing part. So I'm going to close the training and send the evaluation forms. And I have here a message. You are only supposed to close the training if the training is already over. We suggest you to do it during the last session of your training. Are you sure you want to proceed? Okay, we are at the very end of the training. So I'm going to proceed. Okay, and here I have the status of uh, all the evaluation surveys. So Carla Dimitri, she didn't fill yet, and Ilda Malsher, she didn't fill it yet. So let's have a look into the messages that were sent to Carla and Ilda. And here they are. Dear Carla, you have successfully finished your training. In order to get your certificate for the training, you will need to fill out an evaluation form. Please click on the following link and fill out the form. So I'm going to click on this link. And I, I'm already logged in as Carla Dimitri. Go to survey. And I'm going to fill this form to evaluate the training. And I submit the evaluation. And I have here a notification saying Evaluation form submitted correctly. Your status changed to certified. Okay. And now I'm going to have a look into the other email sent to Ilda, which was exactly the same, so that she can fill the evaluation form as well. submit the evaluation okay and I have the same message and now if I log in as the trainer I click on trainings I will resume the St. Petersburg training and as you can see the status changed to survey field so now I can archive the training. I can view the archive training. So I know that the feedback survey will be sent in seven months. I can have access to the details. I have, uh, I can download the survey report. But one of the most important thing is that I can click on print certificates, go to my student certificates, and here I have the certificate for each of my students. So 
for example, this one for Claudia, for Carla Dimitri. So here is the certificate that I can print, sign, and deliver to her. And that ends our training series for today. Thank you.